everyone welcome back i hope you're all well it is vlog ember 13 we are cooking with gas now people i've got quite a lot of stuff to show you today so bear with i hope you enjoy the video if you do consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already why not it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time but don't because the channel's gonna keep getting better <laughs> anyway we're getting ready to go away at the moment and everything is manic we're going away for a few days we're having a proper break shop my shop well actually both our shops now are on holiday mode i think i did say on a video before that we're going to see the difference between being on holiday mode with mine and rob just putting his on seven day dispatch but he's decided to go with the holiday mode now so we won't be doing that but i'm still getting sales i will add and there's just a note at the top saying that um, I won't be posting them until this date and people seem to be fine with it. I've had a couple of non-payers. Um, one was three One Direction dolls, 40 quid. They were supposed to be going to the USA. They never paid. And a leather jacket, which I'd sold. In fact, it was a fur leather jacket, which I sold for £19. They never paid either. So as I always do now for my ebay community i think it's important i always report and block and move on <laughs> um real list the item obviously as well so yeah um we're coming up to that time of year aren't we where you get a lot of people sending low balls people not paying returns blah 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 um but it shows that it's busy and ebay are changing their policies so when people send an offer out now or accept an offer they pay straight away now it hasn't come into force yet because like i say i've had two unpaid but hopefully soon right guys let's get into it right i have i have sales to show you i couldn't even get that out then um right okay so i'm going to start with my stuff crew clothing jumper um had this for eight to four years this has gone for eight pound um so after fees postage and everything i've made about two quid on that not a massive uh, profit again, hence why I'm not doing clothing anymore. Capsule fur leather jacket in a size 26. Um, this has gone for £30. So after fees and what I paid, I've made about 22 on this. So not bad at all. Got another Christmas snowman. Yay. Um, he's gone for 20 So after fees and everything, I have made about 15 on him. This lovely Wedgwood plate. This is a Wedgwood burn china. Um, the wedding of Arthur and Guinevere plate. I paid 33 pence for this ages ago. Um, took a long time to sell, but I got £11 for it. So after fees and postage and what I paid, um, I've made about £8. No, I haven't. I've made about £6 on that, sorry. Winx Club dolls. These are a bolo. I got these in a bundle of toys off a lady i know for 15 pound and these have gone for 85 pound they're going to italy so after fees and what i paid i have made about 75 pound on these really really happy um so yeah i'm gonna make sure these are packed up really well we've got this star wars tie um it is yeah just a normal tie it's not silk or anything this went for 25 so after fees we have made 21 pound on this tie um we've got two mulberry shirts here these have gone for 35 pound they're a size medium after fees and what we paid we've made about 22 on those and then we've got another set of golf clubs going out <sighs> i don't mind actually parceling these up it's not too bad it's just the thought of it these have gone for 25 so after fees what we paid we've made about 15 pound on those not bad at all I have literally had these about 84 years. I'm not even joking. So when I first started my reselling journey, these were something I bought. Um, they're a pair of fashion donner boots. Yeah, paid like a pound for them. Anyway, they've sold eventually for £19. So after fees, what I paid, postage, I'll have made about £15 on them very happy with that i'm glad to see the back of them to be honest because they are a pair of shoes or a pair of boots that i've knocked around for a long time i just hope they're not going to come back 
problem is with boots like this, you find that people's legs can be too big for this bit. I know from personal experience. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, you didn't hear that from me. Yeah, that bit can be too small. So they can end up getting returned because they don't zip up, which is a bit of a pain. But fingers crossed, these will be okay. Yeah, fingers crossed. So I better anyway, stop procrastinating and get all this packed up. <laughs> right, we've been out today and um, I didn't get any footage because again, same charity shop, same sort of stuff. But we've bought quite a lot today. So these all worked out at a pound each. We've got this Adidas hoodie for our son, which is lovely. Um, this t-shirt here, winter is coming. Um, a, obviously Game of Thrones t-shirt from Mega linear um yeah that's a nice one don't know how much that's worth one pound for it um river island like a baseball jacket and what's this over here mns collection jumper with a quarter zip i've got uh, my first garfield which rob found for me he found it in the window from the 70s i absolutely love it um going to be hard for me to sell this if I'm honest but yeah I've been looking for Garfields for ages and I've actually found one we've got a pair of Cotton Trader men's shoes um in a size 11 we've got an evening of wine tasting and a man's stuff gift set which we're going to give to someone for Christmas we've got two tweed perfumes brand new in the boxes We've got this, I have no idea what this is, um, some sort of toy. I don't. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments. Um, we've got two other gift sets here. Um, I can't remember what these are. Molten Brown, they're both Molten Brown gift sets. Um, I found another fan, which is beautiful. Um, an umbrella for myself, because I've broken mine. Some nail varnish remover for myself. And um, Rob got this scarf, like a neck scarf. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. And we got these CDs. Some of them we're selling, some of them we're keeping. So this one we're going to sell. Um, it's gone for about £20, that one. The retrospective of House 91 to 95, volume one. Um, this is mine. Robbie Williams, Swing Both Ways. Robbie Williams, Live at the O2. Robbie Williams, Live at Nebworth. They're all mine. And then we've got um, Ministry of Sound running tracks, which we're going to sell as well. We've also got this bag, which I'm going to use to go away with because um, it's perfect for hand luggage. Aramis, um, yeah, just a nice brown leather bag that I'm going to take with me when we go away on our jollies, which isn't long now. Um, my shop is now in holiday mode. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to move the footstool and I'm zooming in on this. Right, so yeah, that's all that. Now we've got this. We paid £45 for this stack of records. Um, we don't know what condition they're in or anything yet, but we're going to have a punt on them and see what they're like. We got them from the Dove House. Um, yeah, £45 for the lot. So we've got Classic Rock, the London Symphon Symphony Orchestra. Let me stuck that down there so I can put them there. Um, Tina Turner, Private Dancer. The story of Lennon, Mac Paul, uh, John Lennon, and I said Paul Lennon. John Lennon and Paul McCartney with a little help from their friends. Simple Minds, Sparkle in the Rain. Um, Trans Electronic Music Productions presents Switched On Back. I don't know what that is. Um, big Hits, High Tide and Green Grass, The Rolling Stones. Now that could be a really good album, but the cover is a mess. But we'll see, see what we can do. Um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Um, Slim Whitman. It's a sin to tell a lie. I don't know what that is. Hot Chocolate, Greatest Hits. The Best of John Denver. I mean, yeah, we always see him. Tubular Bells by Michael Field. Supersonic, um, as seen on TV. Oh dear, it's got Gary Glitter on it. <laughs> Keep finding these people on these. Summer Days, Boogie Nights, um, Christmas album, Phil Spector's Christmas. Oh dear, Phil Spector's Christmas album. Um, Jethro Tull, Mistral. What does that say? Minstrel in the Gallery, The Moody Blues, Octave, 
focus in and out of i don't know what that is focus three um the power power station 33 and a third what is this robert palmer that looks like it's a super group. Am I wrong? I don't know. Um, Venus and Mars. Don't know what that is. Shaking Stevens. Johnny H. Jars. I love Johnny H. Jars. Shattered Dreams. Oh, God, that's a good one. Um, who is this? The Stranglers. Oh, like that. I thought his head had fallen off then. <laughs> um. Lloyd Curl and the commercial commercials easy pieces. Um, that looks like I don't know who that is. Burning Sky Bad Company. Um, the magnificent Johnny Cash. Bread, baby, I'm. Baby, I'm a want you. Is that what that says? You know, when you think, I, I can't read, but it's the actual thingy. Roxy Music. Um, yeah, fifth Roxy Music album. Michael Jackson Thriller. Brian Ferry, In Your Mind. The Sound of Bread. Band on the Run. Dr. Hook, Sometimes You Win. Spandau Ballet Parade. Legend, Best of Bob Marley. Carpenters, Ticket to Ride. Paul Young, Between Two Fires, Bob Dylan, Street Legal. Um, who's that? That far is Peter Gabriel. So, Peter Gabriel again. Fagel Sharky. I don't know what that album's called. And Ultravox Quartet. Yeah, so we've got all of those for £45. I don't think we've done too bad there. Let me know in the comments if you would have picked those up. Obviously, we need to check condition but we need to do a lot of work on these. They need cleaning, they need playing. Um, like I said, with the Rolling Stones one, it needs the cover needs some attention and then we will decide what we're doing with them. But yeah, I'm happy. We've got all these and all this stuff as well. I've got my cabin bag for the flight. Yes, my stuff will go in there. All is good. So I thought I'd show you all these. Um, there's a bit of a story here. I have got a load of dolls that I need to list. But some of them are um, Bratz dolls and the Bratz dolls are missing their feet. So cut a long story short, I have been looking for bundles of Bratz doll feet in charity shops, car boots, everywhere for ages. And you never find them. Now, if you find them, you let me know in the comments if you come across these. They are the ones that clip onto the bottom of the leg. I'm not talking doll shoes. I'm talking these specific feet, which I will show you in a moment. You don't see them. They are like rocking horse poo. I am not kidding you. Anyway, I've got all these dolls. They need listing. Still haven't done them. But the reason being is... Um, like I said, they have no feet, so I've got to dress them. And selling brat dolls without any feet is a lot different to selling Barbie dolls without any shoes. Your Barbie dolls still have feet. In fact, most dolls, Monster Highs, all the different dolls, Moxie Girls, all of them, they have feet. But brats, the shoes are connected to the actual foot and you can swap them out. And this is why they go missing so often. So I went on eBay and I had... I found a few listings of bundles of um, Bratz dolls from resellers and um, there were auctions. So rather than waiting for the auction to end, I messaged them and I said, would you take a bite now? Um, and two of them got back to me. One of them said, yes, I will and put the price on for me. The other one said, do you mind if I wait for the auction to end? And if I don't sell it, then I'm happy to do that. So I was like, yeah, absolutely fine. So this is the first bundle. I bought two bundles. I bought both of them. One of them she didn't sell. So she sent me an offer. We negotiated and I settled on a price. Um, and the other one I bought outright because it was, it was a reasonable price. So yeah, this is a massive, <laughs> heavy as well. It's shocking how heavy these are. Bundle of brat's feet. Right, I'm going to open this up and come back. Here they all are. 
26 pairs of Bratz shoes, feet, yeah. So I paid £20 for these all in and that's a really good price, believe it or not. People sell these a lot in singulars. So if you ever find any, it's definitely worth having a look at the market for these at the time. Things change, as we know. I'm sorry I've got Rob's hairy leg over there in the uh, picture. Just ignore that. That wasn't part of the bundle. Um, these can go for... It's not big money, but I've, I've seen them listed between two to five pound for one pair. I wouldn't pay that personally, but there are end users out there that want them for their dolls that they've collected or dolls that they've bought for their child or, you know, whatever reason that would pay that. So always check. But I went for these because they were on an auction. They didn't really have, didn't have any bids on. It didn't look like they had any interest. I watched them for a couple of weeks. They didn't sell. And I thought I'm going to go in and ask them ask the question we all know as resellers we aren't oh well i am anyway i can't speak for everybody out there but i welcome offers um because sometimes things that you've had for a long time you want rid of and you'll accept a daft offer on but then sometimes i know that low balls are annoying and i get that but when you're a business you don't want things hanging around for years on end so sometimes when things have been doing the cycle, you get a bit fed up of seeing them. You want rid of them. You want some money back in your kitty. You want some um, some profit on what you've bought. You'll take an offer. And I think that's probably what happened here. I do think these are sought after because you do find a lot of brat dolls with no feet. So they're definitely something to look out for. But they are honestly rocking horse poo. You cannot find them. So I've bought these and I have another bundle coming. The other bundle isn't as big as this. But my thoughts are get them because I don't know when I'm going to find them again. I actually looked on Vinted and on Vinted people are selling them per pair and they're quite expensive on there, shockingly, when Vinted is usually the place that is a lot cheaper but eBay is the way to go, stuff like this. So I am going to be using these to dress up my dolls so I can sell them. Because like I said, with Bratz dolls, I mean, I'm not saying you can't sell them without feet. Because there'll be plenty of people out there that have in bundles or even with rare ones. Some people might already have the feet, so they might buy them. But they are much more desirable with their feet intact. I hope you enjoyed that guys so yeah the next video will be charity shop footage and stuff i think um what i did a couple of days ago now um so yeah i'm just trying to back things up ready for when i get back it's going to be crazy having a holiday i don't think we've had any proper time off in years it's been years but that's what happens when you work for yourself isn't it i mean you've got to put the time and you've got to put the effort in if you want to be successful you know you can't be sat around doing nothing you've got to be doing stuff that's going to help your business and help you grow i hope you found this channel um <laughs> just got interrupted um i disappeared you see without telling rob where i was going and we're getting stuff out now to parcel up so i need to go but yeah i hope you find this this channel informative educating, amusing, funny, you know, all that sort of stuff. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care guys, be kind, stay safe. Ta-da!